are you turning? Say one. You turn in one? Go one. One. <laughs> You're turning one. Good job. my channel I have pink hair <laughs> and it's almost her first birthday on Saturday today is Monday Tuesday I'm gonna do my makeup oh sorry banana and talk a little bit so I've been in full-blown mom party planning mode and why do I have pink hair well that is something I wanted to do since I found out I was having a girl but was too scared and I wanted to do something fun before her first birthday and just also to kind of treat myself because I survived the first year of motherhood that's huge we need to celebrate ourselves too and I spontaneously decided to do my hair pink at the bottom and I got pink also because her birthday party is strawberry themed I will show me decorating for that and what I have done so far anyways so I can't believe my baby's turning one you're not allowed to grow up Yeah, so it matches her first birthday party, which is strawberry themed, and I'm going to show you the process of that. I'm in full-blown mom party planning mode, so this video is going to be all about her first birthday party and her first birthday. Hi, you're so cute. So far, what's set up out in the main area? This. Happy first birthday, Lila. That was in her smash cake photo shoot, and I'll insert clips from her smash cake photo shoot. It was by far my favorite one that I've done. As you know, I've done all of her photo shoots. It was the last one, and it makes me sad. It's bittersweet. Party planning is stressful though, and I'm really nervous. I think it will be a success but I'm definitely nervous. I have to call the pulled pork place here soon. Anyways, let's get into this party planning. I cannot believe my baby is one. You're gonna be my baby forever. I hope you know that. I've been crying every single day. She's just getting so big. Look at that. She's eating my makeup brushes. She's trying to be like me. Except I don't eat my makeup brushes, I promise. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna be soaking up the last week of you being a baby. I'm not letting you grow up. You're not allowed to grow up. <laughs> so here is her cake, strawberry supreme. We're gonna make a double layered cake with marbled icing and strawberries on top. Smash cake is still in the freezer because I want to try it personally and it will be good for several months. And I don't want it to go to waste. It says her name down there. Isn't that just so precious, that fruit all around it. As you can see, she's dug into it. But yeah, so for her actual birthday cake though, her father and I are making it together. It's just more special. So here is the guest table where food will be laid out. There's a bunch of chairs. I'm talking quietly because she's asleep next door. Some cups, look how cute. Here is a fruit stand, but I'm going to be putting goodie bags in there. Let's see if I got the goodie bags. Let's do this shit. Better get a head start than be rushing the day before. The monitor, get my wine, and let's start getting ready for this party. Oh, how does my baby not wake up? She's right there on the other side of the bed.
tune back in when it's done. Ta-da! So there's 15. I have two extras. Day one of getting this party together. This is stressful, but fun. Okay, world. It is day two of party planning. I look terrifying right now. Right now, I am cutting pictures to put in picture frames, and I'm so nervous just thinking about all the people that are going to be there. It will be the first time that my family's meeting my baby dad's family, which is crazy because we have a baby together. So I'm so nervous right now. It's a big deal. I'm back and look how cute these stickers are for the goodie bags. Thank you for making my first so sweet. Just real quick, I'm going to put these stickers on the goodie bags. The goodie bags are all done. Just a little reminder of what's inside of them. Thank you for making my first birthday so sweet with a baby clothespin. Some Welch's, the good kind, a koozie, a pin, fruit pin, lemon, sticky notes, there's just different fruit sticky notes, and then strawberry hard candies. So it's good for adults and kids because mainly adults will be there, but some kids might show up. I'm going to finish up the pictures, just printed more. And I have to cut them, papers out, <laughs> and yeah, I'll hang it on that string and wrap up the presents and then we're good to go for tonight. Tomorrow I'll probably get started in a whole bunch of deep cleaning. Alright, so sorry for the lighting, but I just want to show everything that I am getting my baby for her birthday while she's asleep. I will start with what my sisters sent, so her aunts, my aunt, or... <laughs> my aunt her aunt amy my oldest sister sent a love every box the sweetest thing ever that is so thoughtful and it's just filled with like montessori toys and um there's an order that you can give them to your baby in so that it's like the proper order and i just love that like that is so sweet and apparently that was emily's idea to my other sister but Amy beat her to it. Her aunt Emily, she got her this Dr. Seuss Happy Birthday to You pop-up book. I told her that em, um, that Lila really likes pop-up books and bath toys. So she got her bath toys, some cool water, little pipes, and a puzzle. So cute. And every time my baby sees a cat or every time I'm like, what does a cat say? She doesn't just go meow, she goes meow. What's a kitty say? Meow. Meow. What's a cat say? Meow. Meow. Showering Lila with love from Auntie Emmy for Lila to explore and grow into from Auntie Emmy. Happy first birthday, Lila. Hope you enjoy this book on your special day for many years to come from Auntie Emmy. <laughs> This is what I got my baby. I'm actually gonna say I did get her the same pop-up book, but my baby destroys pop-up books and I think that's why she loves them so much because they pop up and there's something to grab. I already know she's gonna rip this apart, so this will be her, you can destroy this book, and that one will be her keepsake book, the one from her Auntie Emmy. I got her this, The Wonderful Things You Will Be, Animal Tail Book just the tails of the animals. Now you are one. So this is just a little keepsake book that I got her. This is like a little handheld octopus and it's from Jelly Cat, which I have just gotten recommended all over my Facebook and I'm so glad that I started buying from them. I have like the softest stuffed animals ever and just softest things in general. And 
my daughter loves underwater creatures and this is very like I feel like it would be good for sensory development because if you look up close the texture is grippy and like almost like real tentacles but then the other side is so soft it's perfect for the palm of her hand so I think she's gonna love this she might be a little weirded out by it at first but I think she'll really love it in the years to come she loves coca melon so I had to get a bunch of coca melon things I got a blanket she's gonna love the blanket it's airtighted in here right now airtighted coca melon book and it sings each page you open it sings and you can put JJ into little flaps and then obviously a little lovey that she can hold on to and cuddle with and it's also super soft a little like summer sweatshirt she can match me this is fun in the sun this is so cute good morning sunshine and this skirt I wish I had this tell me this skirt would not be so cute with the shirt I'm wearing right now I need to find one and match her. Clearly I was really going through like pastel yellow vibes because here's another pastel yellow romper. I don't think she has any rompers. But this is so cute. Oops. And last but not least, I had to get her some rock band tees. She got red hot chili peppers and pink Floyd to match mine. It's funny though because this little rock star baby actually likes wrap the most she like starts shaking her booty and like really getting into it i'm so excited for this one i can't wait to see her reaction it's a scented baby doll and you can take out the pacifier you can put the bib on her you can put the crown on her it smells like vanilla and i'm sure the smell will fade over time if not that's cool it's a cute little my first birthday doll it says happy birthday and it has a little cupcake I just think it's so cute how it's a binky that you can take in and out of its mouth. I think she's going to love that. Got her these bath toys. She already has Freddy the Frog. Fidget spinners. You can stick it to the high chair or to the bathtub. It's a name train. Lila. I'm trying to teach her her name. And she can wheel it around wherever she wants. Then this puzzle. Happy first birthday, Lila. Love mom. And it's just her name. Butterfly Lila. So it can double as decor. I also got this. I can't reach it. So I'll need her dad to take it down for me. But it just, you can kind of see up under. It has a bunch of things that you can turn. These flip open. Which is just so cool. A clock so she can learn time and then it has that ball maze and it's time for me to start wrapping these presents okay so i have her presents wrapped here they are they look so cute they're hidden in my closet right now and then i went ahead and ordered pulled pork and sliders and um coleslaw and baked beans and then i'm asking guests to bring sides I think my stepmom's bringing mac and cheese. I don't know what anyone, what anyone else is bringing, but I'm probably also going to go to the store and get some just basic fruit salad and like a veggie platter. Things are really coming together though. Right now I'm cleaning. I got beer, Miller Lite, if you can see it somewhere down in there. Drinks. It's almost your birthday. Look how cute you are. <laughs> Relaxing. Ready for that cake? It's the day before her first birthday, so we've gotten done a bunch of the setting up. As you can see, that's the view from my house right now. It's looking real cute. I am nervous, but also really excited. I thought I'd be a whole lot more nervous, but I'm actually really, really excited. And I think it's going to go really well. The food called today, though, and they said, your food's ready. Are you going to come pick it up? And around, like, 12. And I'm supposed to pick it up at 1045 tomorrow. So I was like, I told them that, and they were like, okay, we'll have it ready for you tomorrow. That's our mistake. We have a garden flag out front that says happy birthday, and I'm going to have little yard signs. And I'll show that tomorrow once they're in. But on the front door, here are goodie bags. Look how cute. This is gathered together and this will have be the tablecloth for out there. This watermelon plant. Sweet one. 
how cute that is. And then on this side of my kitchen is another whole row of pictures. And you can see I'm trying to find places for all these. We just got pizza. Trying to celebrate the last day of babyhood. And then we'll celebrate her first day of toddlerhood. Here's just the pictures I went with. The focus. I have the picture frames ready to display. I finished up this scrapbook. There's just, I guess, a few more things I need to finish. Like, I want to find a cute breastfeeding quote. I found one for her birthday. It's from a book called On the Night You're Born. Heaven blew every trumpet and played every horn on the wonderful and marvelous night you were born. 10.02 p.m. You ready for your birthday party tomorrow? Yeah. You want to show them how outside looks? So this is the outdoors, and I'll show it tomorrow when it's all set up. Just looking cute. And her slides out there. It's gonna be a fun day. This was probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do because it's string with paper on it, and it just kept getting bunched up and tangled. But super proud of how it came out. Little strawberries, and this will be sitting on top of the table outside with drinks under it. I set up the yard signs for tomorrow and got out her birthday presents. Look at this big bow, it is so cute. Look how cute her high chair is. We have this little balloon, and waiting on her dad to come back from Walmart with helium. So we can blow up the rest and get started on this damn cake. It's getting so late. Her dad's on his way home. I just made the mixes, dropped an egg right on the floor, which is pretty much how I feel about her being one tomorrow and babyhood coming to an end. I'm super sad about it. I breastfed her before putting her down for bed. And cried the entire time and it took so long for me to say I can't multitask but she stayed latched for a really long time and she went down really easy tonight flowered lightly ready yep there's one right behind you it's little scrapies Tell me when. Pull it about halfway. That's good. Ta-da! Beautiful. I painted my nails.
Hello, I'm back, and today, the day after her birthday, we took her to a petting zoo, and we went on a little hayride, and got to feed some animals, so that was fun. I think she's had a pretty successful birthday weekend, so yeah. 
Thank you for watching me decorate for my daughter's first birthday. I'm proud of myself for powering through because as you guys know, I have really bad social anxiety. And I'm gonna keep powering through and giving her birthday parties and just the childhood that she deserves despite what I'm going through. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out, Girl Scouts.